Hi, this is Kyle Parker for Expert Village, and I'm going to show you how to create forms in Microsoft Word. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up Word and create a new document. And uh, this is a form, is what I'm going to be creating. And so what you want to do is make sure you bring up the little menu here for forms. You can do that by going to, to View toolbars forms and that'll bring up this little toolbar here um, so in most forms what you're trying to create is something like I and then you're putting a little underline here do agree to bring my blank to class tomorrow and so you're wanting the person to fill in these blanks here but usually if you were to send them this in a word document they would fill out I Kyle and then you get this weird break in the underlying space it moves everything over and mess up your formatting which can be a real big problem when you have a huge list document with a bunch of fields to fill in so we don't want to do that so what we're gonna do is create a form here that will adjust to this document so that way it's already there and they can't change any other text and they can only fill in the fields that are available so to create something so they can type in a field you're going to want to simply come up here to this and do a text form field and then you'll click that and then now this text form field will be here and then say you wanted this to be a drop down menu so you only want to give them certain choices so in here you'll bring you go to drop down form creator and then just go here and double click on that and then you can add items to the drop down so say you want it to start off the blank so just kinda of create some little underlines there and that'll be your first one that'll just be a blank item and then you could put in something like pen pencil um backpack and then you can call this field whatever you'd like and we'll just leave it as drop down one now we have a little field here um, if you want to check out what is in these fields you can go to the lock here and then once you've clicked on the lock you can go down here and check test out your fields so you can click on this and then fill it in and then there you go you have your document filled in properly um, they can add whatever but they can't change anything outside of that field um, and then once they click on this you can fill that in and then whenever you undo your lock you can uh, change these fields however you like you can create another space to see how it would look you can add an underline to that so that way um, whenever they go to fill it in it will be underlined all the time so you can see what spot they had filled in you could also create something else like a nice little table it's a uh, say let's do one four by four and then you could have a multiple choice question or something blue black green or purple and then say you wanted them to select which one so you could then add a little check mark box to each one of these and then they could then go ahead and check which color they like best